friends and welcome to today's video. Today's video is on another Misadventures book. This book is called Misadventures of a Sexpert by Elizabeth Haley. I have done a couple videos on other Misadventures books. I will include them in the description box below if you're interested. I love this series. I just love that they are quick reads but they you can connect with them easily they're sexy they're great stories by a bunch of really great authors i had never read elizabeth haley before and doing a little research i realized that they're two friends elizabeth and haley so that was fun and today's book was amazing the book is about isla and grayson it was really a refreshing story Isla is a smart, beautiful woman. She's an attorney. She's at a point in her life where she's kind of ready to put herself out there in the dating world. Grayson is newly divorced, not a good situation, moved, got a new job, has decided he is never getting married again, does not really want a relationship. It was a very tough ending to his marriage and he's kind of got his nose to the grind trying to build a new life for himself. <laughs> the premise is really funny. Isla and her sister decide that she needs to go on the dating apps and start dating. So she agrees to meet some of these dates at her local coffee shop. She figures there's people around, she can get to know somebody, but yet she can also leave easy if she needs to. So we see a lot of these dates that she is going on and in comes Grayson. Grayson also frequents the coffee shop. He wa wanted to go and sit there to be inspired. He is, he was a photojournalist. He's now turned his career a little bit um, to, it kind of seemed a little bit more like illustration and whatnot, although he's still working for a newspaper. And he's looking to get his groove back. He's looking to find his inspiration again. Obviously, he notices Isla sitting in the coffee shop and is kind of checking her out a bit. And then he can also hear her conversations and knows that she is on dates. <laughs> I mean, the poor girl, she had some really interesting people show up for these dates, that's where Isla and Grayson start talking. They, her dates become something that Grayson is inspired by and they start talking after, she, after he's watched her on several of these dates. They themselves start talking. This is what Grayson says when he talks about being at The Bean on Wednesdays when he knows that she has a date. Wednesdays at the Bean had become an event I looked forward to, like the good old days before DVRs and streaming services, when I had to settle into a special seat on the sofa and tune in at a specific time to see a show I'd been waiting for. Except this entertainment was live, and most, most times it was funnier than any episode of The Office. <laughs> so he's, you know, kind of eavesdropping, right? And then she notices him, they start talking, and they realize, and you know I don't like to give spo spoilers, so I'm not going to give you everything, but they realize that her dates and him looking for a muse can be mutually beneficial to both of them. They take it one step further. In Isla feeling like she would like to, how do I put this delicately, experience sex with somebody because she feels like she hasn't really lived sexually enough. She's had partners, but she wants more. And she wants to be ready for when she finds her love to be able to bring something to the table. And she feels like as she stands right now, she doesn't. So she asks Grayson if he can help her out with that. I loved their banter. They're both funny. I love the humor in it. Their chemistry is, is, is pretty fantastic. It was very easy to read all of that because they kept me very engaged and I just adored how their journey went. 
something I thought was interesting when I was preparing for the video was that, and I've mentioned before that I find it very easy to connect with female characters in that I always can find part of myself in them. So it's easy for me. Even if the girl is completely opposite to how I would act or something I would say or our personalities are just different, it doesn't matter, I can still connect with her on that. And that I kind of make the male characters work for it a little bit more. But with this book, most of my highlighted passages were from Grayson's perspective, which I found fascinating. It's not that I didn't highlight from Isla's perspective, but most of it was from Gray's perspective. And I think it's because Isla was at a place where she kind of knew where she was in herself and she knew where she wanted to go. She just had to figure out how to get there and who was gonna be there with her. Whereas Gray thought that he had already been there and it didn't turn out, his life took a complete turn and it didn't, where he was, was where he didn't think he'd be. So there was more, for some reason, there was more of a journey for Gray, for in my opinion, and I loved watching him go through that because neither one of them is expecting anything from each other when they meet, and yet they are exactly who each other needs. Loved it. Obviously there's some uncertainty in, and remember it's a love story, so someone's gonna fall in love someplace, and there's some uncertainty as to what to do about that. But when that happened, I was really happy. <laughs> sounds crazy but I love that when they're like figuring it all out and there's something that Isla said that just got to me she says he was drawing and didn't look up at me but I but asked how'd it go good he's really nice that's good he sounded distracted which made an ache lance down my sternum maybe it was selfish but I was used to having all Gray's attention <laughs> and then goes on a little bit more and again it's from Isla's perspective he shrugged it just felt wrong I could tell this date was different from the others and I didn't want to objectify it I sat back in my chair thrown a little off kilter by what Gray had said it was different it felt different like this one could actually go somewhere their arrangement works until it doesn't and you know I don't like to give spoilers so I'm not gonna tell you but know that we do get a happily ever after I highly recommend these books. There's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, how many is there? There's like 17 or something. You will not be disappointed. They are amazing. And this one was just as awesome as the other ones I've read. Let me know if you have read anything else from Elizabeth Haley. I would love to get your recommendations. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It not only helps me and my channel, but it will help this video get more visibility on YouTube. Don't forget to come over to my social media, which is Cat Reads Romance on Facebook and Instagram. And also make sure to join my private Facebook group, which is Cat's Romance Readers. It's a lovely group of bloggers and readers and authors and other really great book people. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll see you soon.